Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2 modded. People have been asking for me to return more games to the channel and this is one that people have asked for time and time again and so we're bringing back some more Risk of Rain 2 and I'm going to be playing as the Railgunner as our first class because I just love the Railgunner but you can see we've got a bunch of different modded classes also skins for classes as well which I think are pretty cool. Um... Some really, really interesting ones here. But yeah, I'm going to be playing this real good at first because he's definitely my favorite class. And we are actually changing one of his passives to the Micro Missile Foundry, which is a modded one. Regularly, all crit chance is converted into critical strike damage. Instead, all critical strike chance is converted into damage for missiles that are fired on critical hits, which sounds very interesting to me. Uh, so we're going to try that out. There's a bunch of different stuff that we can uh, that we can unlock here, uh, and all the characters have a bunch of new skills and stuff. But let's just jump in as this guy, see what we can do. We're going with the Thunderstorm difficulty, so a little bit harder than the default difficulty with a slightly higher default scaling. But other than that, pretty much normal. So we'll ready up and jump in and see how this goes. I have quite a lot of mods on, uh, pretty much the same ones I had last time I did modded Risk of Rain, but I probably have a few that are a little different. But let's just give this a go and see how we do. I'm excited. Boom. This guy is, is great. I think I need to lower my in-game sensitivity, though. It's it's a little high right now. Um, is that about right? It seems still a little bit high. Just because I'm using a, a sniper scope, I want it to be, like, usable. That's a little bit lower now. <laughs> this is going to be a little difficult to get right. Um, probably go with 08, yeah. Oh, 09, maybe? Damn, I should have done this before the episode started. My bad. Anyways, let's let's give this a go and see how we do. But yeah, there's no missiles being fired yet, so... Oh, there you go, there you go. How much damage does that do? That does two? Okay. I'm guessing I need crit chance to up the damage of those missiles. Because at the minute, it's pretty pathetic. But, it is kind of nice for, like, telling us where enemies are. Although, I can also see enemies through walls. I do really like this character just because early game he's so strong. We also might want to turn the game down a little bit. Audio. Just don't want it to be overpowering. Let me know what the audio is like. I can tweak it. But yeah, with a long range scope like this, it is a little difficult up close and personal. As you can clearly see. But it's really nice in the early stages having so much damage without items. I really like it. Also, I think I sprint by default and then shift to walk, which is kind of nice. I like that. Beautiful stuff. But yeah, I'm interested what this micro-missile one's going to be like. Obviously, at this current moment in time, it seems pretty bad. But it, its damage might scale up pretty quickly, so... Not to worry, not to worry. We've got ourselves. An equipment already, I like that. And we get ourselves the wildlife camera. Take a photo of an enemy and spawn them as an ally by using it again. Potentially interesting. I do hear an enemy nearby, but... Find them to the story. I do have a mod that highlights all the chests and stuff for us as well here, as you can see. Really nice. And we get ourselves... The burn visor, killing enemy, multiplies our barrier to care. It's kind of nice when we get some barrier going. This guy's invisible. He's a champion eh? We do have some additional champions, as you probably can already tell. Ooh, big boy chest. Yes, please. Very, very nice. Chris, an explosion when collecting pickups. Eh, kind of useful. We'll see how that goes. I accidentally missed my reload there. I just love how, like, oh, if you're accurate with this character, you can just absolutely dominate, and I, I really enjoy that. I think it's very fun. I think that's enough to open this bad boy. Yes, it is. Lovely. Big chests galore. Increase attack speed near the teleport. That's actually kind of useful, um, especially if we get, like, war banner on top of that. That could be a lot of increased attack speed near the, uh, near the thingy. We do also have our, our regular firing mode. But I, I very rarely use the regular firing mode, I'll be honest. It's just not anywhere near as useful. But there's our little explosions look here when we collect stuff. Boom. I think they'll uh, they'll be something that scales pretty well, but by default it's pretty bad. Oh, we get the classic Will of the Wisp. Lovely. Explosion on killing enemies is rather nice. 
Probably not going to hang around on the stage for too much longer. We know where the teleporter is. Right, okay, we've got an enemy over there. Luckily, with this guy, you can see stuff through walls, so... We're going to open this bad boy up, and I don't think we've got many more chests to look at now. Deal bonus damage, but breaks at low health. That's really nice. Especially early on. We're not likely to lose it early. Boom, that double kill. I just like the way the missiles are going to seek out enemies that aren't even near us. Oop, that was a bad miss. A little bit more there for us. You gain critical strikes. Uh, your critical strikes here deal additional 40% damage. Break at low health. Ooh, that's pretty good as well, actually. So, very good for this character. But as, as it did say, it does break at low HP, so... We got a few items like that now where we want to kind of protect them if we can. Should we go around here and uh we can also do this to uh move around a bit quicker. And then we do also have our um our big boy ability if we want to use it. Honestly, I actually think it's worth going for multiple more. Oh, actually that's that's not what I thought it was. I thought this was this was the scythe there. How much damage are we doing with this, then? It's okay. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I always consider the um, the default fire to be pretty bad with this guy, so... Not as bad as I thought. It's probably a bit high there. <laughs> Oops. Wildlife camera, go. Can't imagine the wildlife camera is going to be too good for us. But anyways, let's do this. And we'll charge up our, uh, our ability. Beautiful stuff. You see what I mean? Like, look at that. He's already on his uh, his big boom phase. Give me a little feats. Okay. Oh, that actually killed me. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that to kill me. Anyways. Let's go again, I guess. That was uh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> I really was not expecting that to kill me. I thought I was far enough away. We are on the plains. As you can see, I do have the, a mod that basically adds a bunch of different weathers, which is really nice. Yeah, not the not the ideal start to a to a run, to be honest. I need to be a bit more careful with one variant. It's been a while since I played this game, so I'm, I'm forgetting how much damage things generally do. Lovely stuff. Where are our chests at? Hey, you. I see you. I see you. Boom. It's going to be a little while until so, so things pick up, to be honest. So we just got to kind of wander around. I really like this, this uh, outfit, by the way. With like the uh, the little musket sort of thing that we've got going on. Oh, it's not really a musket. It's more like a um, I don't know. It kind of is. It's not. It's not really a musket. It kind of looks like one. It's um like an M1 Grand kind of thing, or Garand, whatever you wanna sort of pronounce it like. I think it is Garand, but it doesn't do the little little mag ping when we reload it. Unfortunately, like the M1 Garand does. We've got a utility chest over there, that's nice. We know where our teleporter is as well, that's good. Oh. Get schlepped. Not as many big chests as we were seeing last time, sadly, but, ooh. Increased sprint speed is extremely nice to get early. Beautiful stuff. I really want to see how these mi micro missiles can scale. I feel like they could be really good. Are you both invisible? Luckily, we can actually see the invisible enemies pretty easily with uh, this ability that we have the uh, the scope. That makes things quite a lot easier for those guys. And some incoming damage is dealt over time. That's actually kind of interesting. I like that. We've got a chest over there. Got a 3D printer here. I'm just gonna check a little bit over here. See what's what. We have a, a damage chest over there. I think I will take that. Boom. 
And we got ourselves increased critical strike chance and attack speed um, for each shrine chance activation. Okay. We can uh, increase our critical strike chance now and therefore increase our micro missile damage. That's kind of good. We do have a few chance shrines about this stage as well. We've got one chest over here. I'll make my way over there. I do like this as a movement ability. It's quite useful. You should get the timing exactly right on when you throw it out. Hey, we do get a big chest. Nice. We get ourselves... Get a delivery. Okay, that's actually pretty good. We've had that before. Oh, that wasn't quite the jump I was going for there, but oh well. Try to be as accurate as I can be with this. I mean, I play Call of Duty all the time, so... I should be reasonably accurate with this. I'm pretty good with uh, mouse and keyboard aiming. Let's go over to that Chan Shrine and play it a few times, shall we? I'd like more activations of this, so I could just keep on using it and using it and using it. I see you there. Oh, I think I missed that. Beautiful stuff. Right. Pop that. A hey, more run speed is beautiful. I don't even know what the second item we got there was, but more run speed is really nice. Is that a utility one? Yes, it is. Slightly increased odds at chance based effect. That's pretty good. I'm imagining stacking a few of those would be pretty nice. We get our utility for the stage. A disposable missile launcher. It's an old classic, but one that everyone loves to see. Right. Uh, we've got a challenge shrine over there. We'll probably go do that now. A little bit late there. Ooh, we've got a chest here as well. Deal an extra instance of damage on hit upgrades at level 17. Okay. Is there any more? Okay. Kind of got most of the stuff sorted out now. Right, how much is my missile doing now? My missiles are doing like, actually 36 damage was that. Yeah, okay. They upgraded quick. Okay, they they, they seem like they scale pretty well actually. Right, chance shrine. So we do need some actual crit chance to upgrade those fully. Multiplies barrier decay. What was the other thing we got? Reducing coming down to our sprint. I mean, we're always sprinting, so that's fine. All right, we'll pop this. This one in Vagrant, we've got to be a bit more careful this time. It's dead. <laughs> oh, we got Beetle Guard as well here. Nice. Very good, very nice. Beetle Guard is not bad at all to have on our side. But that went a lot smoother this time. A lot smoother. What are you what are you attacking, my boy? What are you attacking? But yeah, I think this is a pretty good setup, to be honest. And you can see I, I, what our crit chance multiply thing is down there. Look, it's, it's time seven. So we want to be using chance shrines pretty much as soon as possible to gain that for the rest of the stage. Normally, I'd save chance shrines till the end, but I think this time around, it's kind of the opposite. Gotta wait for this to fill up. I probably should have got the mod that allows the uh, teleporters to fill up instantly. It's a little, just gameplay is a little quicker. One more Luna coin onto my 199 billion or whatever the hell I've got right now. At least this is all extra XP, I guess. Cool, to the next stage, let's go. Good first stage, I think. Good first stage. And we're only on medium difficulty so far as well. Okay, we've got a health chest right off the bat. That's kind of nice. Stop trying to attack me. Oh, wait, is there an enemy there? Oh, you're trying to attack the enemy that's flying. You goon. We do have a golden chan shrine. I don't, is that the one that opens the teleporter? I never remember how that works. There's a bunch of enemies over here that are... Oh, they're in one of the void things. I, I kind of forgot about the whole... The whole void things. Oh, well, this guy's a pain. Let's just, just attack him normally. Do you know what? No. Let's kill him with... Let's kill him with missiles. <laughs> 
yeah, there's this whole void area thing we got going on. We've got a bunch of different mods that add void items, so we can uh, take a little look at these. And we do have to be careful because we do take damage while we're in here. Yeah, these guys are blocking shots. Okay, be a little careful around these guys. These guys are kind of hard to kill with the sniper, to be honest. They're a little bit problematic. Okay, you guys just decided to kill yourself. Well done. Okay. Where are you running off to, sir? You've got to kill the little bug thing. There you go, got it. So it can't hop into any other hursts. Got another active here. I don't think we need another active, to be honest. Let's quickly move out of this zone of being damaged. How many more of these we got to do? One Void Seed monster left, apparently. I'm guessing... It's below, but I don't actually know. We did see one, like, kind of jump off the map a little bit, so it might have been that one that's, like, stuck somewhere. Let's take another look around. Oh, wait. I, I voided it. I voided it. Nice one. Big chest. Wild shielded gear, temporary boost, and armor. Okay, that's kind of nice. And we'll pop that open. We got ourselves... Oh, wait, we, we, we don't want to take that. That's, that, that, that. That I've replaced Lensmaker's glasses, and I'll be honest, I want Lensmaker's glasses, so... Can you bugger off? I think it's actually really hard to hit. There you go, I got it. Yeah, we kind of don't want to do that, so... Lensmaker's glasses are pretty good for us. Also, that's better when you're firing a lot of shots rather than one big shot, because it's... chance to instantly kill on damage, but we do big damage, so... We're already oftentimes instantly killing, so it makes no sense to trade our potential missile um, ability for that. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing a, hell, a whole hell of a lot of chests about. We've got a good amount of money right now. No, oh, that was not what I meant to do at all. Oops. There's a bunch of stuff over there, but that's where the teleporter is. I want to go there later. Wail on that to get a bunch of crit chance. Make our missiles a bit better. We've got the bazaar there if you want to put a coin in and go to the bazaar. We could certainly do that. And then I've got to just go like this. Yeah. Cool. Then we've got that over there, little shop. And we did have a chest over here to start with. Yeah, there's one there. Look. Um. I don't know what the wire does. I think that's drones, but... Gain some shield and increase attack speed. Okay, that's fine. It's 120, lovely. Gain a stacking chance to bleed enemies during combat. Taking damage removes all stacks. Oh, okay. That's kind of an interesting idea. Basically, the longer we go without taking damage, the more chance we have to, to do bleed. I like that. Instant health consumed at low HP. Nice. Right, we'll go up the tower over there now, I think. Oh, I was wondering what that noise was. It's just my fucking beetle guard. Oh my god, my accuracy right now is bad. No! My accuracy! No, don't freeze me. Whoa! I kind of like got a bank off of that there. Right, we'll check up here and then we'll go and do the teleporter. I don't want to hang around too much longer. There you go. There's chest right there. Look. It was already worth our visit. When you have a shield... Okay, we've got a lot of shield-based effects right now. And I think, yeah, we, we do have a portion of shield up at the moment. So, we are gaining all of these effects right now. Which is rather nice. I really like it when you do, like, little bank shots there. 
We got some teeth. Portion of damage taken is distributed over five seconds. Okay, that's pretty good. I think we're good to go. That didn't really work the way I wanted it to, but oh well. Okay. I do find it funny that that little jumper thing just chased me off the edge with reckless abandon there. Okay, there's a little crash ship thing with our powerful item in it. A lot of these are like 3D printers, to be honest. What, what what does this thing do? I can't remember what this thing does. Oh, this is the item choice thing, isn't it? Oh, kind of missed that there. I wanted to go, go tough. Oh, actually, striking an enemy increase. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I like that. We'll take the random. Rather have the random. Okay. Quickly just check what that other thing you. Okay, it's another 3D printer. Oh, there's another one of these. Okay, nice. Take whatever that is. Okay. Not the best, but it's fine. We'll just go for this and see what boss we end up getting. Okay, it is the Vagrant. Let's be careful now, shall we? We've got actually a little ledge here, so we should be fine. Although I will say, there's a lot going on right now. Our elixir's gone off already. I'm trying my best to sort of keep my distance here, but it's a little difficult. Oh my lord, there's a ton going on right now. I'm not well prepared for this at all. That didn't hit, are you kidding me? No, god damn it. Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. Also, he's put him, he's put me in a position where it's harder to get away from him now, so I'm going to have to go over here. Okay, we got him. Nice. That saves our tush a little bit. What do we get here? I don't recognize this item right now. Gain the ability to bunny hop, increasing air control. Hmm, it's kind of interesting. Good old bit of 4,000 damage, we like that. This character is just so fun, man. I love it. A thousand damage for a hit. It's beautiful. As long as you're accurate, this character is so strong. And we are out of here. Oh, no. My bazaar. I forgot I had the bazaar. My bad. My bad. Oh, no. It, it did take us to the bazaar. Still great. Nice one. Right, so in here we can actually spend a little bit of our leftover money, which we don't have a lot of, to be honest, so <laughs> not the best. Um, I will take whatever the sword is. Striking Bleeding Enemies reduces their armor, that's nice. Oh, what the hell is this little dude? Oh, I will take you. You seem interesting. Your bots are granted a portion of all your stats and we brought to you after a delay if they're too far away. Okay, it's not actually as good as I thought because I'm going to have to buy a bunch of drones to make this work. But I like it. It's kind of interesting. Is that, I swear there's like something I can do down here, isn't there? Let me go and, let me go and check that out. I forget where it is. Have I misinterpreted this? Maybe I have. I thought there was something I could do down here. It's been a while since I played this game, so forgive me if I'm wrong. Is it not down there? How the hell do I get down there without dying? I can't die to fall damage, can I? We'll find out. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it is down here. That did not work at all how I wanted it to. Okay. Lost a lot of HP there.
I forget how this works, but I'm scared. <laughs> Enter the null portal. Why not? Why not do it? It's our first day back on Risk of Rain. Let's take some risks. It's Risk of Rain. We have to. This could be beautiful. Could end my life. Oh, it's this. I remember this. Basically, we got to fight off waves of enemies, but the, the enemies become increasingly more difficult and have items and stuff. It can be pretty scary. Basically, we've got to activate these different cells. And we take damage while we're outside of this, by the way. Quite a bit of damage, actually. Leech seed over there. We're almost 50% on this one here. Enemies don't currently have any items. We're just fighting the mushroom boys right now and no one else. There's one guy over here. He's, he's trying to make his way over here, but he's... Not having a great time of it. We need to actually look for where the next uh, where the next thing is. There should be these light beams in the sky to sort of give us a bit of idea of where we're going. It's not always obvious. Not always obvious where we're meant to be going. There we go. We found it. We found it. We Gucci. Ukulele. I'm sorry, big boy. I'm sorry, chief, but doesn't look good for you, does it? Right, so now enemies have extra, ch uh, like, a bunch of extra chances to crit us, which is ooky spooky, most definitely. The good thing is, as you can see, we do a bunch of damage. These mushroom guys are actually pretty problematic, though, because as you can see, they uh, leave traps about could be pretty bad for us. Luckily, they're not spawning all that often right now, so we should be fine. Did I run past many chests on the way? No, I don't think I did. Because you can actually go out and explore and try and find as many chests as you can here. I don't know if you have to do this, or if you can just go to that portal over there and leave if you want to. I think you can. Can you stop hurting yourself, my guy? Don't know how this works, do you? We get this, and we get... Health regen's probably good. I don't see the uh, the next one. Okay, next one's over here. Beautiful stuff. Right, now we've got extra enemies. We've got some beetle guards as well incoming. I still feel my sensitivity is a little too low, you know. It's hard to get this right. Okay, that's that. That's my beetle guard. Goddamn. Brother, it is time. You must kill your brethren. They have high crit chance, and I'm scared of that. Very, very scared of that. I mean, luckily, this guy is pretty strong, but. And luckily as well, the mushrooms as enemies, although they can be annoying, they do stay pretty far away from us, so sometimes they can't even hit us. The beetle guard's actually the main threat right now. Also, I've got my, my um, missiles if I want to use my missiles, too. Don't feel like it's entirely necessary right now, but I've got them if I need them. Uh, attack speed. I think we'll go with attack speed, yeah. Where we going? Just down here. We got one of those out there, which is eh, a bit risky, but I'd probably like to take it. This is a bit more of an annoying spot to be in, because a lot more enemies can get to us more easily. I'm going to go out there and check what that is. Oh, okay, it's Void Scrap. Nice. Void Scrap is fine by me. Oh, you are uh, a scary fella. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. No way. 
The mushroom enemies are so difficult, man. Anyways, that's going to leave off our first episode back into Risk of Rain. It's going to take me some time to get used to this game again and learn some of the mods and stuff. But I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, let me know what sort of characters you want to see next time. And we'll jump on in and try that. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.